Hi there everyone, I'm Tan. Today, I will be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a herbarium. Hey, do you know what's a herbarium? Ah? No. Okay, so herbarium basically is a preserved plant specimen that is used for scientific studies on it. Okay, so let's get the ball rolling. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, we will need to collect some plants. As you can see, this garden is full of plants and trees but I would prefer those with flowers on it. Okay. All I need to prepare is this scissor and let's get started. Okay, this. Oh, I found one here. Okay. Okay, so after you have found a plant, next step you need to do is to identify the plant species. So the plant species Identification is not done by mere eyes. It should be done by this application. You can use either the iNaturalist app or the Google Google Lens. But at here, I would use iNaturalist to identify the plant species. Okay, so let's turn let's uh, turn on the software. Okay, so this is the interface of the software, and I will click Observe Camera and make sure you take a good picture of it so that it can be clearly seen by the computer for analysis okay. click use photo and press what did you see so the computer will show all the possible plant species here as you can see this is the bonus sets Blazing Stars and Allies. Most plants uh, analyzed by this application will be accurate. So the species should be right. But if you want it to be more accurate, you can always compare it with Google Images to show better identification and know that it is the right species. Okay, so now I will cut out the plant. Okay, so this plant will be used in the next step which is the compression. Okay, so now we will start with our compression. What you need? Papers, scissors, and maybe some caustics, and stacks of books. Yep, these are the books that I read. Just kidding. Okay. And last one is the key part of the compression, which is the plasticine. Okay, this plasticine, why is it important? Later I will show you. It, will, it is important to secure the plants on the papers so that um, it won't be messy after the compression. Okay. So, I will start by using this plasticine first and I will make small granules of it. So we will start to secure this plant on this paper into position that I want it to be. Okay, I will start with the stem first because most of the mass of the plant is focused on the stems. So we need to open up the leaves. Because at the end of compression, the leaves will be in some sort of 2D form. And there will be these excess leaves. So I need to cut off them so that it don't look messy. Okay, so now the plant is secured in place. The next step is to cover it with another piece of paper. Make sure your leaves are not bent so after compression it won't look weird. Yep, it should be okay. okay. So you can cover on it. The covering on it, cellophon tape, make sure it is secure. Then the last step. So this is the show of the stack of the book. Yep, I will choose this uh, 
this book first because it is wider and place it on top so it can cover a bigger surface area then heavier books more and more books so that it can be pressed fully pressed and with equal pressure so I will leave it for about a few days then we will check it out in these few days I will change the papers in it because the papers will absorb the moisture from the plant and if the papers are not changed these moisture are the nutrients for the microorganism to grow so it is best you can change the paper so that there won't be any fungi growing on it then you need to redo all the steps yep so that's all for today I hope my this video helps you thank you very much thanks for watching